Man, tell me there's no God. I dare man to tell me it's all lies. Where was you at? We was riding through the trap with a trunk full of crack going against all odds. Was you around when they got me? Yeah. Stepping out my prayer closet empty. I was lifting up everyone that's against me. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And that commission ain't missing cause I'm feeling offended. And my feelings in touch with my inner villain. He is in the killing. I know you feel him. I know, I know you know. That's Good afternoon, you guys. So, I am filming this video in my car because August and her father's at the playground and I needed to make this part of the video. So, this video is actually encouraged by Carly Bible. I'm entering her giveaway and to enter, you have to face your biggest fear. So, so as I was, you know, when I first saw this, maybe like a couple of a couple of days ago, I'm like, okay, what is my biggest fear? Because honestly, I fear everything. Like, I mean, that may sound really crazy to some people, but I just fear everything. Like from the very simple things like flying a plane or a bug, snakes, all kind of stuff. Like literally everything freaks me out. But I honestly think it was just kind of like the way I was brought up. Like my grandmother was extremely old school. And I don't know if it was because something traumatic happened to her in her life or whatever, but she literally was always like, don't do this, don't do that. Nope, can't do it, mm -mm. can't go nowhere, can't do nothing. And I mentioned that in one of my other videos. Um my get ready with me get to know kb video i talked about how my grandmother literally wouldn't let me do anything like she was very strict and because of that i just feared everything like well why won't she let me do this or why can't i do anything or you know so it kind of like created this environment where i was literally scared to do anything like i make a long story short seeing how i fear everything <laughs> I had to really like take a second and say to myself, but what makes me freeze up? Like what stiffens me? Like to the point where I'm nauseous and I'm anxious and I just can't see myself doing it. And it's not actually a physical thing because I've flown twice. I didn't like it. Um, people say, oh, you only scared because you never did it. I did it twice and I still didn't like it. So <laughs> I would do it again though, but because it, it, it wasn't like scary. It was just like uncomfortable, I guess you can say. But the one thing that honestly just stiffens me and makes me sick to my stomach to think about is honestly losing somebody that I love. Like, the thought of losing somebody that I love makes me sick to my knees. And it has literally made, I don't know, like it's made me extremely clingy to the ones that I love. It has made me also extremely overprotective as well but knowing how that has like an adverse effect I am trying to be more cautious of being super protective especially over my daughter like I need I'm trying to figure out how to find a balance in that but um yeah I honestly um I fear losing people that I love and w that didn't come from being raised a certain way honestly I didn't realize how 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 bad that hurt until I actually lost somebody that I love. And what, how old am I now? 28. I'll be 29 in August. And I've lost three people. I've lo I've had friends and people that I know of pass away. But three people really, really affected me. And, and oh my God. It was just breathtaking type of sadness <clears throat> that affected me a lot. 
And to think of that happening again, it's just like, oh my God, you mean to tell me I got to lose somebody else? Like, every, I mean, because everybody has to die, right? We're born to die. So, you know, the thought of losing, you know, more people that I really, truly love, it just stiffens me with fear. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, because we really don't know when, you know, it's anybody's last day. I don't know when it's my to think about the kind of pain and sorrow that you feel when you lose somebody you love and it's nothing you can do about it it's so final there's no there's n there's no cure you just miss them forever and to go into that how can i face that fear how can i you know go through this and and show people like hey i don't fear this anymore honestly i don't think there's a way to say that i don't fear it anymore you know like it's just something that I have to deal with on a regular basis, but there is a way to be okay with it a little bit more, and that is acceptance. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to accept that you don't, that I don't have control over a lot of situations, I don't have control over life and death, and I have to be okay with that. And this is always something that I really wanted to talk about on my channel because it's a huge part of me. And, you know, seeing how this video, this this challenge or this giveaway has come up, I'm like, this is a perfect opportunity to talk about it now, you know. And that is the death of my grandparents, you know. Losing my grandparents shook me to my core. Like, because I, I it's like I knew, I knew they were going to die. I mean, they, you know, people get older, and like I say, everybody's born to die, but it's just like, you just kind of push it far, far away, like, yeah, but not today. They ain't gonna die today, you know, like, I got forever. They're gonna see me, you know, get married and have my first child. Like, I got plenty of time, and that just wasn't the case. Like, that, that long time happened really fast, and it was absolutely nothing I can do about it. So, here I am, like, how can I... What is one way I can accept the fact that my grandparents passed away? And <clears throat> one thing that I have never done since they passed away was visit them at the cemetery. I've never ever went to see my grandparents ever since they passed away. And I don't know if that was because it would be like more reality for me. Like, you know, like... If I go see them, does that mean that they're really gone? Even though I know I can't call them, I can't go see them, I can't wish them another happy birthday. Like, I know that part, but like, how final would it be for me to go visit them at the cemetery? I did it today. Um, I did it today. I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like there's never a point where you could just be so ready to face something that scares the hell out of you. And accepting my grandparents dying it doesn't scare me, but their death, I feared their death for many, 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 many years. Like, because I just didn't know when they were going to die. And when they did die, it was as painful as I thought it was going to be, if not worse. So, um, I, um, I want to see them today. And, um, so seeing them up there on that wall together was just like, wow like i really like to come say hi i come here now you know like if i want to come see you i'll come here you know so <sighs> it wasn't it wasn't too bad <clears throat> i'm glad that i finally did it because my grandmother my grandfather passed away in 2012 and my grandmother passed away in 2015 so it's been a couple years it's been a few years since I went to see either one of them, birthdays, memorial days, all of that. I never ever did that until today. So I am very glad that um, I took that step in accepting their death. Um, I'm not saying that, that has healed my fear of losing somebody else that I love because the thought of that is just, it, it breaks my heart because you want to hold on to people forever. Like you think you know those that good love feeling that genuine that genuine true love that people give the ones that really love you you just want to hold on to that physically forever you know not realizing that the memories are just as be beautiful as the physical form of people um even though nobody wants that you know what i'm saying real deal you want them right here in front of you so you could kiss them hug them and love them up forever but that's not the way life is set up so <sighs> i'm glad that 
I went to see my grandparents today and I was able to give them a rose and let them know how much I love them because I do and I will forever love my grandparents and they were a be the best part of my life one of the best parts of my life they saved me when I was when I needed to be saved you know let's be honest like there was a point in my life where my grandparents helped me survive if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be in the position that I am right now so I am forever grateful to my grandparents I owe them so much I'm just so humble and so grateful you know so I'm glad that I finally went to go see them. They deserve for me to go see them and give them flowers, you know? So that is one of my biggest fears that stiffens me to my core is losing somebody and losing the people I love. I just wanna say I love you. So give me a run for my money Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely Living lovely Just love me I wanna be with you I wanna be with you Augie, put your hands up, buddy Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I wanna be with you. Hey. I wanna be with you. I wanna be love with you. Me, just love me. If I didn't ride blade on curve, would you stay? <laughs> right back at ya.